Hey everyone, today's video is about when your ex used to hit you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. He started to notice that something was wrong whenever you would flinch when he raised his voice. He didn't mean to yell at you, and most of the time, it was just him talking at his normal, fired up volume. He didn't like fighting with you. Just playful banter in his own intense way. So it was even weirder that you were acting like that. But even if he was just ranting to you about his day, getting a little too in the story, and his voice getting a little louder, he seemed to be constantly making you anxious. As though you were waiting for him to break bad news to you or something. It was confusing and frustrated Katsuki. Always one to want to be in the know and be in charge of situations. But he wasn't sure how to approach it. His usual blunt and gruff manner of demanding you tell him what was wrong would almost likely only serve to worsen the situation. So he was sort of stuck. Eventually, he got to get enough. He had no idea what to do at this point. Perhaps you really didn't like being around him all that much. Your contact prior to dating had been frequent since you two were good friends but it had been fairly controlled and the minimal amounts to compare to the long hours you frequently spent stuck to each other's sides now. Maybe he was better off just being your friend. You seem to think that his rough exterior could be funny at times, especially because he liked to poke fun at him a lot and found it overall charming how it dropped back into his determined mindset. But then, you didn't seem to be at ease if he tried being a lot more gentle though. So what should he do? There wasn't much else remaining as an option but to ask you directly what you wanted from him. He didn't want to make you unhappy, but if it was true that you two were incredible in that way, well, maybe he would have to lose this one. And he never lost. It was his attitude of striving for perfection and for winning an outcome in this relationship that he set outside his fear of unknown and instead put you first. A quiet evening in front of the TV, you staying over at his house for a movie night had the scene perfectly set for him, asking you once and for all what was wrong. He made a pace with himself, if he seemed even the slightest bad and sure, he'd maybe have to let you go, but only for your own sake. He knew it was very likely he just wasn't made for love, versus everyone else, he knew that seemed very in tune with both theirs and others' emotions. A commercial break had him drawing in a deep breath, your head shifting comfortably against his chest as he breathed in, and you closed your eyes briefly as you felt the comforting rise and fall, only to snap your eyes back open within seconds once you heard his next words. That breath hadn't been one of quiet comfort and a romantic evening. It had been him inhaling all of the courage in the room that he could before he asked you the question that had been burning in his chest for so long was wrong. It came out more as a whisper than he would have liked. A few beats of silence passed and he wasn't sure if you were going to answer, wondering if you had even heard it. But truthfully, you were trying to figure out if you had heard him correctly. You decided to play it safe. What do you mean? Katsuki wasn't sure what else he wanted him to say. Don't play dumb, babe. You know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, his voice was louder this time. Mostly from his irritation at not knowing what to do to get you to the hub. But then you were sniggling away from his arm. He had dropped around you. Breathe caught in your throat. Kids. Wait, shit. Stop. Shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to slap like that. The words stumbled out of his mouth, and he was quick to gather you back in his arms, turning to face you on the couch. I'm just... I'm just worried about you, baby. Is this something I'm doing? I know I'm not always the perfect boyfriend, so if you want to break up, you had to rush to stop him from finishing the mere thought of that taking at your heartstrings. And so it was there, on that same couch, 
We had spent so many afternoons together, as friends, falling in love with each other, that you tearfully told him about your last relationship, a shameful past he was to completely forget, erase, pretend that it exist. But Katsuki goes out of here gently, the light murmur of the TV with its volume low in the background. You had asked him not to turn it off completely, afraid of what his feeling silence would bring forth in you. And you felt so, so good, despite the tears dripping down your face, so happy to finally get it out. And when you had finally said your piece, he was on you in seconds. Warm arms, encasing you and your face, firmly pressed into his t-shirt, the fabric already quickly dampening from you crying, and that felt like home. As Katsuki comforted you, he was internally fuming with anger. He was careful not to let it show and accidentally end up stressing you out further. But once his assurances of how he would never, in a million years, ever want to hurt you seemed to ease you back down to earth, even managing to crack a smile that made his heart do somersaults, he was already composing a plan to drag down that idiot that had hurt you. He would be extra clingy in the coming days which was saying a lot for a boyfriend, who normally liked to grumble about how stop you're bothering him, no hugs right now, which similarly pulling you closer to him every single time. If it was someone he knew, next time he saw them, he wouldn't hesitate to pull them aside and unleash a sleeve of the rats that were definitely not empty in meaning. He restrained himself and didn't resort to violence as much as he would have liked, knowing that you would be more upset with him if you found out that he had punched your ex lights out and was getting in trouble just because of you. You always encouraged him to be a better person and rise above letting others get to him. So it was only because you were such a nice person that the person who had hurt you was able to get away with all of your teeth still intact after facing your explosive boyfriend. And what if it wasn't someone he already knew? Well, it wouldn't be long until the two got acquainted. Katsuki was smart enough to figure out who exactly it was using his grapevine of connections, and it wasn't long until he was pulling aside the person for a little talk that went similar to the one he would give if you already knew them. He looked cute when he was mad. You had to admit, and with your mood greatly improved, you really had no choice but to give your boyfriend a kiss both to shut him up and as a thank you. The sharp press of relapse against his wood have him leaning in for more before he could even fully pull away. He never knew how long he spent in each other's arms like that. Your heart soaring higher every moment with amazement that this was finally your life. But you did know that you gave Katsuki countless kisses within that time frame. Each one yet another sign thank you for being your rock. Through a thick and thin. Cheeseness be damned. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.